Nice to see you here, Rupert. You must Thank be you. so excited with the unveiling. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. And, and this project really reflects a great depth to Terry's life that we don't know about mm. through the charity work. Yeah. And how do you feel about this quilt? What does it mean to you? Well, the, 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 quilt, the process of getting the quilt together was that I actually learned things about Terry myself. Uh, because talking with his friends and hearing stories that I actually hadn't heard uh, before. What it does is brings together a number of, um, of aspects of Terry's life together. And you start to see the whole, the real person as he was uh, and, his, and his history and what made him who, who he was. And, uh, and also uh, then the significance of that life uh, ending because of AIDS. Uh, so for me, uh, it's been lovely to see that being pulled, pulled back together. Certainly um, not easy as well, but uh, it, yeah, it's been a lovely process. Everybody involved with it has been great. Uh, the skill uh, involved has been phenomenal. And uh, translating uh, from people's ideas to a, a finished product has uh, been fascinating too. But all in all, for me, it's kind of a, it's a memorial because it does bring together those parts of Terry that were well, before I knew him, because I knew him right at the end of his, well, right at the end of his life. And uh, it's, uh, it's actually really heartwarming to be able to recall it. So thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. And if Terry were here today, um, what do you think his opinion would be of his memorial quilts? How would he feel about it? Uh, that's a really difficult question. Terry was, um, was a bit of an iconoclast. He, he, I'm not sure how to even get my head around that question, but the idea that it's remembering somebody uh, who was obviously so very much loved and what that created, that love created, and uh, what, what that inspired us to do. Uh, and I mean, I'll speak for myself more, which is that my, I, I was very angry about losing him and that the, the, there was a, an immense amount of grief. And so it, that was an opportunity for me to try and change something for the better. And I hope that Terry would be able to see that if he were, yeah, if, if he were in the strange position of seeing this quilt. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you mentioned earlier about, you know, the fascination of working with such talented people mm. who have such a high level of skill. What has your experience been of working with Paula Doyle, who works on the panel with you? It was it, working with Paula has been fabulous. Um, she's she's listened very carefully to the things that, that that meant something to me, and they're all in the in the quilt that she created. Um, uh, my grandmother's cottage, where Terry and I went uh, not long before he died, uh, and we made a, a blackberry crumble from blackberries we picked. Uh, it was in the same village in Cornwall where I scattered his ashes uh, not many months later. And uh, uh, the letter, the red, uh, red envelope, of, which is one of a number of letters he wrote to me when I was at university. And it's um, her translating those things into a, an image and the, t the textures and the design. It's... It, it, it's been wonderful, really wonderful. She's, she's got immense artistry, yeah. Thank you. In terms of your work with THT now, as a founder, obviously, what's the message that you want to get out to people now, the main message, the main campaign message for THT? I'm not a spokesperson for THT, but one of the, the things that THT really wants to put forward is that we have the opportunity now to end the transmission of HIV between people by 2030. Not very long, uh, far away. 
It would be the first time in history where that's done without a vaccine um, and without a cure. But it is possible and uh, THT wants to push that forward. A lot of things go into that, and that's, but it's quite feasible. So I think that is one of the biggest, um, uh, biggest messages that THT wants to put forward. Part of it is that treatment for people with HIV, such as myself, and I, I take uh, medication every day, um, which has saved my life. It saves people's lives, but it also means that you cannot infect anybody else uh, through sex or through any other, uh, any other means. So I think that that's, uh, those are the key points. And I think they're very, they bring a lot of hope. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.